Survey says? <sighs> they probably didn't know whether or not they were supposed to cheer for it. So did you like that? Yeah! They get to live for another week. Happens to every clown of a certain age. I want to do a quick experiment since everyone is very interactive tonight, I've seen. Stop moving. Stop making a sound. I know I'm not doing that just because I really want to hear the quiet. Take a moment and think about your physicality. Think about how you are seated in this room, how you are interacting with the stage right now. Take one second, just freeze. Hold that in your mind. I've noticed when I come in, there's people who come here for the first time and they kind of, they kind of sit back and they, they cross their leg. And they do one of these, and they're kind of taking it all in in sort of an objective, in an, you know, a, almost a theatrical editor. I'm, I'm going to see what I think of this thing you are doing. And to you, I think you're amazing because you actually think we know what we're doing enough for you to pay attention like that. Thank you. There's a lot of you who are here who are cuddling or having a bite to eat because the food's really good, and, and you're, but you're here, and it's awesome. And then there's this handful of you that are leaning, there's one, leaning on the edge of your seat, eyes open, really excited. This is every performer's dream to see this. Every performer on earth lives for these people who are hanging on the edge of the seat. Don't do it if it's not real, but if you're really engaged and connected, it's one of the great gifts you can give a performer. I see it in a lot of kids, and I'm a clown, so my job is to be really engaged too, and so sometimes I'm looking at them like this, and they're looking at me like this, and I freak them out, and their parents have to talk them down. I heard, I, you know, there's the, neg there's the negative version of that that we're all expecting. He's a clown. It's his job to scare the crap out of you. No. no it's not. But I heard one recently that I love. And so, uh, a friend of mine talking to her daughter says, it's okay. Clowns are just more people-y than people. <laughs> more people-y than people, she said. I love that. I've been taking that with me everywhere I go, every performance I do. I, I love it. And when I go out in the world, I try to take these things, put them in my head, and see what happens. And, and, and it's, been, it's been really good for me, especially as I've been studying clown and learning the history of clown. You know, one of the things that my job is, is I'm, I'm like the, the king's fool. I'm supposed to be the subversive. That job's now really in the hands of the stand-up comic, but I'll still take the idea that I'm allowed to mess with things and play with the world and get really excited. One of the jobs I have is that I get to be affected by things. I get to be on the edge of my seat about everything, and it's amazing to me. I, I did a performance last week at a retirement home. It was a, a community, and they had a Renaissance-themed event. And actually, uh, there was a band that's played here, Traveler's Song. Yeah. Hi, guys. Come back and play the show. Yeah. Cheer for them. Yeah. I like you. So, so we're out there, and they're really funny guys. And so I'm juggling and doing my bit. I'm playing the fool, which I know is like typecasting, but I'm out there. I'm, I'm out there. I'm doing my thing, and I'm juggling, and I'm, I'm having a good time. And I, and I go, and there's this pose, and it's like I'm posed, and I'm balancing something on the tips of my fingers. And I start hearing this cheer. And I think I'm, I'm kind of deaf because I spend most of my time standing next to the band. So I assumed the Traveler song had said something really funny. So I just went on to my next part of my routine. And I heard another cheer, and I said, now, wait a minute. There's no way they were funny twice on cue. <laughs> I mean, they're good, but come on. So I do one more thing, and I get a cheer again, and then I look out. I bother to reconnect, and I realize everyone is staring at me and clapping and laughing because of something I did. Now, I've seen this in kids, and usually I see adults kind of hanging back, like I mentioned, but these people, in comparison to me, have lived lifetimes worth of experience. So they know that life has taught them to do this. They just don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. And I think it's the most amazing idea in the world that we could teach people to get to that place again. Folks, this is one of the safest places on earth to lean at the front of your seat, to get so excited that you point at something, to maybe even say something that I, we're just going to interact with you because fourth walls really don't exist as much as we like to pretend they do. That's why the respect's important. That's why the game's important. But most of all, you're in the safest place you possibly can to learn how to be one of those people who just doesn't give a damn and feels everything you feel. We call it the open stage. Welcome. Yeah.